put a new cutting edge on my plow and it's got this weird pattern on it. It's like I hit something all the way along. It's got these little intermittent uh, marks on it. Anyway, my plow is holding together, but my truck's not. I kind of bumped some of those snow banks on the way in to get to that generator. I'm going to show you a video of uh, my day yesterday. It's now 24 hours later. Yeah. I had a busy day yesterday, even though uh, it was a very small storm. I can't imagine what it would have been like if it was a big one. I would have been really tired, I guess. So everything's holding together. Um... Here's what I'm up to. I'm going to I'm going to put a picture uh, the picture that you see of the tractor in the beginning of this video before you push the you know uh, uh before you start it. Uh let me know if you know how old that machine is. You can guess at what year or how many years old it is and I'll tell you more about it in some upcoming videos. Um that's the uh, tractor I used to snow blow the sidewalks. So it's got a snow blower on it. And uh, it's a really nice little machine. It's 52 inches wide. It's a Kubota. I can tell by the sound of a Kubota that uh, what uh, you know, a Perkins diesel. I can I can pick one of those out. Uh, Cummins. I'm pretty good at picking out those, but a Kubota's got a distinct sound and uh, really reliable. So. Watch the upcoming videos. I got a little, couple of little clips, and uh, let me know what you think. Okay, let's get it going here. It's gonna snow last night, and the radar is showing that it's moving out there now. It's pretty well gone. Fifteen minutes ago, it was still snowing. So I loaded up the salter. I filled up the gas tank. He hasn't even woken up yet. Plows haven't plowed the roads yet, so they've salted, but they haven't plowed anything. They probably salted yesterday. So, uh, yeah, full of fuel. Gas gauge is full, so I totally forgot about gas yesterday. I'm driving around with an empty tank, and uh, <laughs> four o'clock, uh, three thirty in the morning, I'm driving. Uh, Starting a snowstorm with an empty tank, so it's made it to the gas station. Wouldn't be funny if I ran out of gas, but it, so let's uh, let's get some snow plowing done. Um, I got a couple of new subscribers the last couple of days, so thank you for subscribing. Uh, yeah, I want to keep making uh, videos, but you know these 15-hour days, I haven't been doing them. These little snowstorms, or weekend snowstorms, I can handle doing a video or two. But uh, during the week, it's a scramble to get the place opened up. You know, um, uh, my customers are pretty demanding. They're, they're very good customers. But, we, you know, we've had at least five snowstorms this year that have started snowing at 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm supposed to have the place opened up for 7, which means uh, there's no way I can plow the whole place in an hour and a half. Uh, it's still snowing after seven, so you got people coming in at you know regular working hour, eight, nine o'clock in the morning, wondering why the whole place isn't plowed. Well, you know, I can I can't start before it, we get you know four you know two three inches of snow, and uh, I can't have the whole place done in an hour and a half. It takes me it takes me if it's twenty centimeters, it takes me twenty hours. That's a pretty good measurement. Less than 20 centimeters, it takes more hours per centimeter. Like, say, 10 centimeters might take more than 10 hours. It might take 11 or 12 hours to do that one site. So, that's my way of measuring how uh, how long it takes. And with the right guys and the right equipment, everything not... No breakdowns and uh, everybody's shaking a leg. Uh, so... Today we got less than five centimeters, probably about four, three, four centimeters. Nice snow. It's, we're supposed to we're supposed to get freezing rain and ice pellets and the usual terrible weather, but uh, it seems like it's just nice fluffy white snow. I like that. So 
under five centimeters should take me seven or eight hours. And I filled the salter up because I just want to just blast this place with salt and then the next two or three days I don't I won't have to go there as often if we get it down to bare pavement today. So I'll talk to you after seven. The sun will be up. I don't know if it'll be clear sky, but it'll be bright out. Uh, it's now four four twenty. So I got two and a half, three hours to get the place in shape. So that's gives me a lot of breathing space to get everything done that I can. And then they open up some locked up areas, and I do them after after eight, even after nine sometimes. So. Thank you for subscribing, those of you who have just jumped on board and uh, see what we can do here.
Okay, you see that big green thing over there? You can't see it yet. There it is. That's a generator. This hasn't been plowed all winter, so I gotta try and punch a hole all the way down there. And I don't feel like floating a big machine just to this one site to do this one little path here, so. I don't know if I can. I think I can do it. It's. Old winters where the snow went. Holy jeez, I don't wanna get stuck, boy. Boy. <laughs> this is not gonna be easy. Anyway, we'll just do our best. Anything but, uh, if I had a V-plow, I'd be all set right now. I just asked someone the other day, just a couple of days ago, someone just asked me the question. Yeah, I think it was yesterday. And, uh, something about their V-plow. Okay, so, that was my day yesterday. Uh, phone kept ringing non-stop. I didn't have time to do any more videos than that. Those walkways take me about an hour and a half if I really, really go fast. If I take my time and do a better job, uh, two, two and a half hours. So I just showed you a few minutes of that. Um, let me know what year you think that machine was made or how old it is. Leave a comment and... Uh, you can tell me how many years old it is or what year it was made. It doesn't matter which. Uh, uh, the picture on the front of the, the start of the video, not in the video, but I'm inside the tractor in the video. But yeah, I don't know if some of you might not may not believe me how old that thing is. But uh, there's a, here's a hint. It's more than 10 years old. <laughs> uh, and let me know what you think of... Uh, I've got a couple other videos. I've got uh, one... Two, three, four, upcoming. Let me know if you like those, any of those videos. Thanks for watching.